हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस डायरेक्टिक्स फोकस मेथड टू ड्रॉ इलिप्स पैराबोला और हाइपरबोला नाउ दिस इज द वन मेथड फ्रॉम व्हिच यू कैन ड्रॉ इदर इलिप्स और पैराबोला और हाइपरबोला ओके सो फॉर दिस मेथड गिवन डेटा विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एसेंट्रिसिटी एसेंट्रिसिटी एंड वन डिस्टेंस विल बी गिवन इदर फ्रॉम focus to directrix or vertex to directrix or vertex to focus now first of all let us understand each of this term what is eccentricity eccentricity is the ratio of the distances from vertex to focus to the vertex to directrix okay so in short to remember we will uh, define this e as vf by vd vertex to focus divided by vertex to directrix now what is vertex what is focus and what is directrix so directrix is one line okay from that line i am uh, randomly putting one point on this directrix d dash d dash from this point i am drawing one line which is perpendicular to this to this directrix and this line is called as axis now if you see <coughs> if you plot uh, ellipse parabola or hyperbola on this directrix and axis combination you will get figure something like this for ellipse for parabola you'll we'll get something like this and for hyperbola still wide on the angle so <clears throat> this point is vertex for ellipse this point is vertex for parabola and this point is vertex for hyperbola okay and there is one common focus for all of this curve so this is focus vertex is the point where curve intersect or you know, or the intersection point of the curve and the axis is called as the vertex okay so uh, so eccentricity is the uh, ratio of the distance is from this vertex to focus divided by vertex to directrix okay so now for this three curve ellipse parabola and hyperbola eccentricity has particular value for each of this curve for ellipse it will be always less than 1 because for the ellipse vf will be always less than vd for parabola this will equal to 1 and for hyperbola it will be always greater than 1 okay so now in this method <coughs> uh, you will be given with this eccentricity and one of the uh, three distances okay so let us say uh, for the present example eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 and distance between uh, focus to directrix focus to directrix is equal to 50 mm okay so this fd distance is given 50 mm now we are uh, giving the notation for eccentricity is vf by vd okay and the distance between focus to directrix is given so we can easily calculate uh, uh, from this relationship this two relationship that vf is equal to 20 mm and vd is equal to 30 mm okay so vf plus vd is equal to fd and that is equal to 50 mm okay <coughs> now uh, 
uh, let us start drawing the ellipse for the present example as you can see that uh, this uh, eccentricity is less than one so this is the case of the ellipse okay so for this method focus directrix method or directrix focus method first of all draw one vertical line which is called as directrix d dash d dash on this line take any point randomly and then draw a line perpendicular to the directrix okay name this point as d now see distance between directrix to focus is 50 mm so at the distance of 50 mm mark point f so this is f and vf is equal to 20 mm so from focus mark the distance of vertex okay so this is v vertex so automatically this will be 30 mm directrix to vertex okay <clears throat> now once you mark all these three points f v and d the next task is to draw an arc as a center v and radius is equal to vf Okay. Remember one thing, this method is common for ellipse, parabola or hyperbola. Okay, so you can follow same procedure to draw parabola and hyperbola as well. Now draw one vertical line from this V and name point this point as X where this vertical line intersect this arc. Okay, I repeat what I have done. As a center V and radius is equal to VF, draw one arc and also draw one vertical line from V. Okay. This intersection will give you one point that is X. Now join this point X with D and extend this line. Okay. Now starting from point V mark some points on this line axis okay I have marked this point at the distance of one centimeter so, and name this point as one two three four and twice randomly at present uh, take some number of points later on if required we can go for more number of points now from each of these points draw perpendicular line line perpendicular to x axis okay and extend this line little bit on the other side of the axis point as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 5 dash 6 dash I think I need to remove this okay if required we can extend this line and we can go on now the next task is to take the radiuses 
वन वन डैश ओके वन वन डैश एंड पुट द सेंटर ऑफ द राउंडर ऑन द फोकस ओके आई अगेन डिपेड टेक द रेडियस इक्वल टू वन वन डैश सेंटर एज फोकस एंड ड्रॉ द आर्क ऑन द लाइन ऑफ वन वन डैश ओके ऑन दी ईच ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द एक्सेस नाउ टेक रेडियस इक्वल टू 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 डैश एंड अगेन पुट द सेंटर ऑन द फोकस नाउ टू एंड एफ आर सेम फॉर द प्रेजेंट प्रॉब्लम कीप ऑन डूइंग दिस फॉर ऑल दिस पॉइंट अगेन टेक द रेडियस इक्वल टू थ्री थ्री डैश सेंटर विल बी ऑलवेज फोकस एफ Okay. So keep on doing this uh, procedure. So you can see this points are forming the curve like elliptical shape. Okay. And you should continue this procedure up to the point when. uh one radius will uh, come when this focus will cut this axis only okay so keep on doing this 6 six, 6 six dash again center as f do this 7 7 dash okay focus arcs Eight dash I think I'll need some more points as you can see this is intersecting this line for two times i need to extend this line again and draw some more lines from the points okay i hope this will be completed in up to the point 12 yes it will and this is 12 12 dash yes so finally we are getting this much of points and <clears throat> now you can start from this point and you can connect all this point with the help of french curves or by free end sketch so this is the final figure which we want And you should connect this point P one with the vertex, and also from this vertex on the other side of the one point one. You can name this points as P one, P two, P three. Okay, I'm not going in that much of detail. This is required ellipse. I again give the overview of the entire problem. <coughs> For this kind of problem or this method you will be having data in the form of eccentricity and one of the distances either distance from the focus to directrix or from uh, focus to vertex or from vertex to directrix any of this three dis any one of these three distances uh, will be given uh, from that you should need to calculate this relationship vf and vd then first draw one vertical line take any one point d on this line 
from D draw one line axis okay and then <coughs> from D mark the point F and V as obtained from this relationship then after getting this three points D V and F V as a center and F as the radius V F as the radius draw one arc okay and also draw one vertical line from this V this arc and vertical line will intersect at the point X connect point X and D and extend this line then mark some points at the distances of 1 1 centimeter uh, uh, from starting from V okay so 1 2 3 likewise mark initially mark uh, some number of points <coughs> and uh, then if needed uh, you can go for the more number of points after marking the points uh, draw vertical lines from each of these points okay such that this vertical line intersect this inclined line in the respective points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash like this okay and then take the radius is equal to 1 1 dash first radius equal to 1 1 dash and uh, center as the focus draw two arcs on the both the sides of the axis similarly keep on doing this for 2 2 dash 3 3 dash 4 4 dash okay and center will be always focused and you can get these points and you can connect all these points to get the ellipse now i will also show that if uh, uh, the same data is given like uh, if eccentricity is equal to 1 and the uh, distance of uh, focus to directness is equal to 50 so uh, obviously the curve will be parabola you need to follow the same procedure for doing this again draw directrix <coughs> what will be the only change in that problem will be this distance will vary okay so at the in the case of parabola this v will be exactly in the middle of this f and d okay because eccentricity is equal to 1 and focus to directrix is equal to 50 mm so vf by vd that will be obviously vf will be 25 and vd will be also 25 and then again go for the same procedure okay similarly you can go for the hyperbola for hyperbola the eccentricity will be greater than 1 okay so you can uh, uh, follow the same procedure to construct the parabola and hyperbola also thank you